the knots and the tangles. Oh, too much, too much. I tap out, tap me out. It was too much. Okay. Are you team natural or team relaxed? I've been on both sides and they both have their pros and their cons. Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sharon. Today I'm sharing with you my natural to relax hair journey and why I went back to the creamy crack. Creamy crack, <laughs> back to the creamy crack. It rhymes, <laughs> super corny, but it goes. For the best relaxed hair tricks and tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell so you're notified every week when I upload a video. You don't wanna miss out, so click that bell. I love to experiment with my hair and I switch up my hairstyles quite often. I just like variety and I like change. I had a short pixie cut, I've had long hair, I've had blonde hair, red hair, purple hair, curly straight, you name it, I've probably done it. So of course, I've been natural and relaxed. Everybody has been natural and relaxed. Cause you're born with no chemicals and you get to relax so pretty much okay i was natural for six years and i got a relaxer in 2018 so i've been relaxed for two years so i know you're probably thinking but sharon why did you relax your natural hair after being natural for six years well this is why i couldn't say no to a relaxer aka the creamy crack my texture i don't know about you but my hair is really, 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 really thick. So I kind of knew I had kinky, thick hair, but I didn't really know. Like you never truly know your hair texture until you go fully natural. And I'm not even sure what my hair texture is. I believe it's, it's in the four range. It's a 4A, 4B, 4C, somewhere over there. My hair is very tight. I will have like candy curls coming out the root of my head like several little tight candy curls and so to go through those curls to detangle and to style um my hair texture it was too much for me it was too much work too much maintenance um it took too much time and i just didn't want to deal with it I feel like if I had maybe like a three, somewhere in the three textures where it's a looser curl, I could manage my hair better because it wouldn't take that much time to do it. But um, yeah, I just couldn't do it. But it brings me to my next um, reason why I went back to the Creamy Crack was because of my styling options. Now I told you before that I love to switch up my looks. I love to play with my looks. I don't like to stay the same forever. So I'm literally every woman. Cue the music. Okay, cut, cut, cut. I was stuck at a point where I was doing my perm rods and I wanted to do something different. And like I said before, I couldn't blow out or press out my hair because it wouldn't last. So I decided to go to wigs. I like to say I don't have any regrets, <laughs> but some of the choices I made, and it's not even my natural hair fault it's really my fault because i chose the wigs and i wore the wigs <laughs> so some of the wigs i wore were not so great and looked like straight up baby doll hair and just looked like a wig i just it looked like i put something just sat it on my head so i was wearing a wig for a while i honestly just got tired of wearing wigs I just wanted to see my scalp I just wanted to feel my own scalp like I didn't want to wear a wig um anymore and I kept thinking but you're natural and you're growing your hair but why are you natural and growing your hair if you're not going to show it if you're not going to 
wear your own hair you have all this hair under your wig like what's the point like why are you doing this to yourself not to mention it's hot in South Florida again so sometimes you don't want a wig on your head it's hot it's 80 degrees 90 degrees feels like it's 100 degrees outside it's, and you have a wig on your head and you're sweating and got makeup on and you're just trying to live your best life girl and you just you just done you just had enough and so I was wearing wigs all the time and I was tired of lace I even went to I even started wearing quality wigs so I was but I was wearing expensive wigs but at that time the lace wasn't that great or maybe I just didn't know what I was doing but to me it still looks like you have a wig on your head and before I went natural I wasn't into I mean I would wear um, a sew in here and there but for the most part I only wore my hair I wasn't into wigs I wasn't into weaves so I always wore my hair that was just a change for me I just couldn't take it no more it was several years and I was wearing a wig and then I decided to embrace my hair and I was doing braid outs and um, perm rods and then I also um, would wear clip-ins um, and half wigs that were natural hair texture so I could blend in my hair with that so I would wear those um, I would wear braids as well um, did I crochet? no I didn't crochet hair oh yeah I did crochet hair I would wear like um, naturally straight hair so kinky straight hair with my hair out in the front so I would wear that some days and then um, I would wear braids and then eventually I went into wigs again and then I was just all over the place like I said I wanted change I wanted variety and I just knew it was time to do something different and to make a change natural hair is such high maintenance um, because your hair is so curly and thick and tight your natural oils and your scalp will not go all the way down to the tips of your hair so for the natural oils or any oil to travel down the strands of your hair to the tips it's gonna take it a while because it's so curly so you have to moisturize like nobody's business like you have to always moisturize so you always need a moisturizer um you need an oil you need some type of liquid you gotta lock it in you know the lock method it's a lot going on with your natural hair so you're always keeping it moisturized you always got to keep it um detangled it's just so much to um do with your hair it's just a lot another thing about being natural you are a product junkie oh my gosh when i was natural i had so many products from different brands, different types. I had co-wash, I had thousands of conditioners for just co-washing, for deep conditioning, for moisture, for protein. I guess I have a lot of products. No, I don't have a lot of products for my relaxed hair. I just feel like you don't need that many products for your relaxed hair. When you're natural, you have so many hair products and also you want to try so many products. And you have the whole beauty supply store in your house. Like everything you see that you think may work on your hair you just buy up and you just become a product junkie and you use so much on your hair like you use like 20 products on your hair so it's just so much so the worst part about being natural is or was wash day for me wash day was nerve-wracking stressful um, it was the worst time being natural because you knew that you did the whole day to wash your hair and then after that your hair might not even be styled by the end of the day like um, you might have just washed your hair and conditioned your hair all of one day and then the next day you would have to style it it was just an all-day process from starting to detangle your hair detangling your hair takes so long when you're natural it's just hard it's from detangling then to doing a pre-poo so doing your pre-poo making sure your section making sure your detangles then to go in and wash and um in your sections and then detangle some more and then condition and then you guys do a deep condition because you're natural anybody needs to deep condition you have to deep condition gotta leave your leave that on your head get under the dryer for an hour 
rinse your hair out again with cool water and then it's time to do the lock method and detangle some more and by the time you do all of that it's been a whole day did we even get to styling that day i'm not sure maybe we did um so you need it like two days to wash and prep your hair for or style your hair um so wash day had you thinking about like i used to think about risking it all like i'd be like okay it's done like do I want to cut my hair off? Like, do I want to relax my hair? Like, that's when I would really think strongly about relaxing my hair because I just felt like life shouldn't be so difficult. Life should not be so hard. Just be able to get up and go, right? But that's never. A wash day was the absolute worst. Another thing I didn't like about being natural was those single strand knots. Um, they're everywhere. They're called fairy knots. Oh my gosh, I hate them. I had a head full of single strand knots. You can feel them and they're usually at the ends and I would flatten my hair and it would feel all nasty and just it would never get straight and you just see the, you could feel the bump in the hair strand. I hated those because you can't get rid of them. The only thing you do is cut it off and oh, those were a nightmare. So between the knots and the tangles oh too much too much I tap out tap me out tap me out eventually I figured out how to manage my hair how to detangle how to keep my hair moisturized um and that was great that helped me out a lot with the time of doing my hair but listen it still took too long like I don't want to be all day doing my hair and then I can't even enjoy it because I don't know what the temperature is going to be. So that brings me back to another point which is my location. I live in South Florida. I am from South Florida. Having natural hair here is a whole nother beast. I know I look on YouTube and I see natural girls like living their best lives. Like in the summer, they be wearing their box braids, their cornrows. They have some type of protective style in their hair. Um, and then when the fall, winter comes, even spring, like you see them with their nice, long, naturally pressed hair. Um, just looking real good, nice and thick and just amazing beautiful hair that has been pressed out um, and you can wear your hair straight for a majority of the year and then the summer you like chill out and wear protective style that's all cute like I wish I could do that but being in South Florida you don't have that option because it's summer year round and when it's not summer it's the rainy season so it's raining and it's hot and humid so if you're natural, pretty much your only hairstyle or yeah, hairstyle to wear is going to be in your natural curl state. Pretty much you can do like a twist out, you can do a braid out. I used to love to do perm rods, but listen, if it got too hot or the humidity was crazy like your hair would frizz up I don't care how much gel how much spray hairspray I don't care what you put in your hair it will frizz up get huge and you will lose all definition all curl so there was no happy medium being that I'm natural and I live in South Florida one time I got my hair pressed out um, I should have known better because I got it pressed out in April and I wanted to get my hair trimmed and I just want to see the growth of my hair because I was so used to having it in its natural state that I didn't know exactly how long it was. Like I knew it was long because you could pull it down but I wanted to see it pressed out. So I went to get my hair done. I think this was, yeah, this was the first time I went to a salon to get my natural hair done and I went there. I was there all day. Um, got my hair done. It looked amazing. And then I stepped outside, literally stepped outside and my hair was like <sighs> instantly, <laughs> instantly. Like I was in a salon in a chair like this and 
twirling and feeling myself and it was like oh my hair is straight i have natural straight hair oh my gosh i made the best decision i'm natural my hair is long my hair is thick it's growing it's flourishing and go outside and and it was over so all that time and money i spent it was done. Being in South Florida with natural hair, you might want to think twice if you are not into the fro, um, twist out, maybe braid up your hair type styles. If you're not into that type of look, if you're going for a straight, um, pressed, blown out natural hairstyle, then South Florida isn't for you. Sometimes you get tired of... <laughs> wearing natural styles like having i don't know a bun or a puff or the different hairstyles i mentioned sometimes you want your hair to be straight sometimes you want to see the length sometimes you want to enjoy um the growth you've retained and you work hard for it but you can never really see it because you have so much shrinkage and i that's what really got to me i didn't like the shrinkage i either want really short hair I want really long hair I'm not happy with in between I don't like the middle of it it's either one or the other it needs to be drastic so it needs to be really short or it needs to be really long um and so I wasn't happy with my hair in its original natural state it's a lot even styling to style takes a long time um you can spend hours hours like I said my go-to um hairstyle was a perm rod set and I would use lots of gel and sections and, and perm ride my hair up. And of course, you have to let it dry overnight or sit under the dryer. And sometimes I would do both, but I would um, sleep in my perm rides. Now, the sleep with that, that is the most uncomfortable sleep. Like your head aches because the perm rides are hard. So you're laying on a roller. It's because you need your hair to dry because you don't want to unravel the, the, the curler if your hair isn't fully dry. That's a no-no because it's not going to be defined. It's going to be frizzy. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure it's fully dry. So I would sleep in my rollers and then I would wake up and my hair would be dry or it wouldn't be dry you never know so it might be dry but it might not be dry but if you have somewhere to go you can't keep the rolls in your head so you have to take them out so one day you do the perm rod set it might be flawless gorgeous it's dry you can have a gorgeous curly fro going on or your hair might not have dried and you have a, a natural fro right here but curly at the ends and then over here you have super defined curls on this side and the back didn't get dry at all so it's just long and loose so you have nice bouncy curls loose hair right here a fro right here and it's just a mess so all that time and energy and your hairstyle might not even turn out right can you imagine that it might not be wearable you did all that work and it might not be wearable who knows? Pray to God, dear Lord, please let this hair work out tomorrow because I have somewhere to be. So you might want to start that hair like the next day in the morning. If you need your hair done the next day at 8 in the morning, you want to start the, the, the day prior at 8 in the morning. So you have a whole day. But I think for the most part, um, what I didn't like was... I felt like it made life harder. It made me not want to go out because to go out you have to be ready. Not only do I have to do my makeup and find something nice to wear, but I also have to do my hair and my hair was a huge big task like that took forever to do. And I feel like when life becomes really complicated and when you find yourself not wanting to go out or you just don't want to do the necessary steps to live a balanced, healthy, productive life. You need to switch some things up. And so I found myself not wanting to pretty much go out or do anything because, of course, I was lazy, but I just didn't want to deal with my hair and the time to do my hair. So I knew then that I needed to relax my hair as well with that. I'll say this. I did have a lot of fun styling my hair. My favorite style was a perm rod. Oh, I used to love doing 
um, this style. And what's so funny is when I first went natural, I knew that I wanted to have like a curly um, fro with a bang. So my hair was still growing. I transitioned for a year um, to natural. Then I cut my hair and then I wore wigs all the time. So I remember I got the wig and <laughs> I, well, I went and bought a wig and the wig looked exactly like how I wanted my hair to be because I was like, okay, I'm going to wear this wig. I'm going to envision my hair being like this. So then eventually, like maybe a year or so, I don't even know how long it was, but I took the wig off and I started styling my hair like the wig and people wouldn't know that it was my hair. They would think it was the wig, but it wasn't the wig. It was my hair. I just styled it like the wig so it was so funny but anyways I actually enjoyed being natural I enjoyed how my hair was stronger it well yeah it was stronger it was healthier um, it was easy to I just didn't have any worries I felt like it was I was more carefree being that I didn't have chemicals in my hair um, that I didn't have to baby it so much so yeah, I, I loved it when it was time to do a protective style, like when I would do box sprays, I felt like my roots and my hair was strong enough to, um, I guess, hold extra hair, the weight of the hair, so I didn't feel like my, my hair would pop or anything on my head, so that was good. So another reason why I decided to go back to a relaxer is because... Honestly, I wasn't sure if I went natural for myself or if I went natural because it was a huge movement going on. Like, you can't deny it. It was a huge natural hair movement. It was so powerful. And you just saw women every day embracing their natural hair and their natural texture. And I wanted to be a part of that for sure and I'm happy I did join the natural hair movement but also it was somewhat of a trend for me not saying it's a trend for everybody but for me it was somewhat of a trend now I say it was a trend because I've always loved relaxed hair I've always loved my straight relaxed hair um, I never really had an issue with it the only thing is it, my hair wouldn't grow um, how I wanted it to grow when I was relaxed before now um, and that was only that was the only reason why I would say that I didn't like being relaxed is because because my hair wouldn't grow how I wanted it to grow but I went natural honestly because of the movement it was trending everybody was going natural the natural hair shampoos were coming out conditioners and you see the videos and then on YouTube everybody was going natural and showing how they do their hair and I am so happy that I did join the movement because honestly my relaxed hair wouldn't be what it is today so in conclusion I'm team relaxed and team natural there's beauty in both relaxed hair and in natural hair so that is my story of how i went from natural to relaxed and why i couldn't say no to the creamy crack <laughs> comment down below and let me know if you're relaxed or natural also i want to know why are you relaxed or natural what is your main reason for being relaxed or natural i want to know Check out these video stacks on how to grow your hair, past shoulder length, and more. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks loveys, and I'll see you in the next one.